Hello guys, my name is Madhav and welcome to my channel. This is the 42nd tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're not going to learn anything important, but I just want to talk about a few things that have been troubling me over the past few days. I have been receiving a lot of messages from uh, my subscribers and, you know, uh, other viewers on YouTube and people have told me that they find the content of uh, my tutorial satisfactory, but they also find the audio quality of my tutorials pretty sucky. And uh, I don't blame you guys, I myself am pretty annoyed and uh, fed up of the audio quality and the weird background noise of the computer fan that you hear. And uh, you know, I just want to tell you that I uh, record these tutorials on my laptop and uh, I just have 3 gigs of physical memory and my laptop's fan, you know, maybe there are dead mosquitoes or eatables in the fan's compartment. It just makes this weird annoying sound, you know, I don't know what to do about it. I've already started using a different uh, recording software and this one has an audio enhancement feature that somehow allows me to cut, you know, some portions of the noise but, you know, while it does that it adds, uh, you know, uh, an equally weird noise of its own and, you know, that's of a running tap and, um, you know, I really think I need to get a microphone and I will get one pretty soon but I want to thank you guys uh, for the feedback that you've been providing me consistently. It really means a lot to me and, um, you know, this is not a one-off thing. I'm not, you know, just re going to record the series and stop. I'll probably, uh, you know, upload a few more courses and, you know, there are other programming languages that I have been using uh, over the past few years and, you know, I will uh, record and upload more and more tutorials, not just on shell scripting, but on PHP and JavaScript and C and C++ and, you know, Python and Perl. Anyway, um, that's enough talking. If you guys remember in the 30th tutorial in this course, I told you guys how to compare to numbers. But in that uh, tutorial, if you guys remember, I considered the example that involved uh, integers. I didn't, you know, uh, take any example that involved real numbers. So what I want to tell you guys is that you cannot use the hyphen EQ operator with real numbers. So I have my text editor here and I've uh, saved this file in the home folder. It's called test and has the extension sh. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to first show you the method in which you would, uh, you know, ideally want to compare to real uh, real numbers and that is by using hyphen EQ and then I will tell you why it won't work and then I will also show you the right way to do it, right? So I'm going to first uh, declare and uh, initialize two variables and I'm going to give them the same value. So uh, I'll create a variable A and I'll give it the value 4.5 and I'll create another variable B and I'll give it the same value, right? So when you use the hyphen EQ operator, then uh, you should, you know, the operator should tell you that both these numbers are same, but it won't do that. Let's just see. So within uh, my square brackets, I'll put the test condition dollar A hyphen EQ dollar B, and uh, I'll check the exit status of uh, this test condition. Save this file. I'll bring up my terminal and execute script and there you go it tells me that on line 3 4.5 is an illegal number and then it also returns an exit status 2 now we have just encountered scripts that return exit status 0 and 1 and 0 as I've told you guys means success and 1 means failure now what does 2 mean 2 tells you that you know there is obviously you know failure because your script is not producing the right output or you know the output that you were expecting but it also tells you that you've done something uh, illegal, you know, you've used, um, you know, uh, maybe an operator or uh, a command or something, uh, you know, in an incorrect manner. So that's what the significance of do is. And, uh, you know, the right way of doing this would be to treat both these uh, numbers as strings, right? And that's how Unix stores them. And, you know, it won't really make much of a difference if you would put double quotation marks around these variables in your test condition and if you would replace this hyphen eq operator with an equal to symbol so now what we've done is we've changed a mathematical test condition to a string test condition so dollar a will now be treated as a string that is four with a full stop and the symbol five and dollar b will also be treated in pretty much the same way and the equal to symbol in between will make sure that this test is evaluated as a string test and not as a number test so let me save this file and uh, let me clear the screen first 
and when I execute the script, you see that we get the exit status zero, which means that the test was uh, executed successfully. So there you go. I mean, you know, this is uh, one thing that skipped my mind while I recorded the tutorial on uh, running checks on numbers. So I thought I should, you know, uh, maybe discuss it in this tutorial. So anyway, uh, once again, I want to thank all my viewers for uh, being so supportive and uh, I've received really nice comments over the past few weeks and I'm really encouraged to record more and more tutorials for you people. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we'll discuss something interesting and important. Uh, thank you so much for watching this one and please subscribe to my channel.